see how to see about all the plants and how they grow in the medieval times. Hi, I'm Caleb, and we're in the Bonifant Herb Garden. Caleb is a horticulturist. He takes care of the plants in the gardens. What makes a plant medieval, Caleb? In the herb garden, we call the medieval plants all the plants that would have been used in the Middle Ages. Plants that would have been used as magic, plants that would have been used as medicine, plants that would have been used to make clothes, to dye those clothes, um, plants that would have been used for food, vegetables, fruits, all sorts of things. So in the medieval ages, they're very important exactly. to people? Exactly. So we, we say that we call medieval plants, plants that we know that they used in the Middle Ages. Kayla, where are we right now? So this is our tool shed. This is called a woad ball. That's a woad ball. This is the plants. The leaves of the plants are all smashed up and then they're allowed to ferment for a little while. They're left in a little bucket of water and they get kind of stinky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they ferment. But what you get from this when you put it in a water later on is you get a really good dye bath. So you get these blue dyes from this plant. Pretty cool. Lots of teaching tools in here, right? We're growing plants that were used in the tapestries, in the unicorn tapestries upstairs. They're all dyed with plant material. They're from plant dyes. So in this bed, we grow those plants that were used to dye our clothes, used to dye the tapestries. Um, this plant's pretty neat. It's got that same little yellow flower. So this plant was used as a dye. Ah. What color dye do you think you'd get from this plant? Um, maybe, well, yellow's already taken over there, so I don't know, not really. That's pretty good. A lot of people say yellow when they see the plant. But this is actually where we get the blues from. Yeah. Remember we were talking about woad and I showed you that stinky ball in the garden yeah. shed? That's all of these leaves. These are our pomegranates and we have a couple fruits on them, which is really neat. So they would have used the little seeds, the little parts of the fruit, they would have used it as a spice. In the tapestries you can yeah. see a pomegranate. Tree. Yeah, but what's really neat is that the fruit doesn't, it looks very similar, you can see the fruit, mm -hmm. but they have it actually like in the top of the plant and it doesn't look like this. In the real world I got to see it and in the picture now I got to see it. It's very interesting because they have the same thing outside and inside. This is Ella signing off from the cloisters. See you in art and then in real life. Art, real life. Art, real life.